Greece is crippled as it faces its worst civil unrest in decades. Was it more than the police killing of a teenager that unleashed this violence? And what are the root causes of riots in this EU country? This is Inside Story. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Jane Dutton. Violence has broken out again in Athens as hundreds of striking workers have gathered in the Greek capital. Banks and offices have been shut down and public transport is being disrupted for 24 hours. The strike was planned weeks ago, but it follows days of rioting throughout the country after a 15-year-old boy was shot dead by police at the weekend. On Saturday, a police car was attacked by a gang of youths throwing stones. Lawyers for the police say they retaliated by firing warning shots, but one ricocheted, hitting Alexandros Griopoulos. Two officers have been charged over the killing in Exakia, and the precinct's chief of police has been suspended. Now, the incident provoked anti-police protests that then turned violent. But these riots are about much more than just the tragic death of a 15-year-old boy. It's also a chance for Greeks to protest against a range of ills within Greek society. First, there's the widespread anger at economic policies of the Conservative government. They are accused of widening the gap between rich and poor and rising unemployment. Students are particularly concerned. They feel they invest a lot in their education, but no matter what their diploma, it's hard to get a stable and well-paid job. Political corruption, perceived and real, is also a problem. Careers often depend on personal contacts rather than a, a person's merit for the job. And the Greeks are well known for their demonstrations. There's a tense relationship between citizens and their state. Many just don't trust government institutions. Now, this current lack of trust in both government and the police seems to stem from their role in recent political upheavals in Greece. For many, these current riots are a reminder of what happened more than 35 years ago. In 1967, a group of right-wing colonels seized power and established the so-called regime of the colonels. Political parties were dissolved and civil liberties suppressed. Several thousand suspected communists and political opponents were imprisoned or exiled to remote Greek islands. Six years later, dozens of students were killed when the junta's tanks took to the streets of Athens to suppress a protest at the Polytechnic University. The bloodshed triggered the collapse of the military regime and with it, a wave of anti-Americanism due to the US backing of the junta. Well, joining us now to discuss this are our guests in Athens. Demelsa Velika, she's a journalist at the Apo Givmatini newspaper. Also in Athens, Aristotelia Poloni, she's the diplomatic reporter at the Tenia newspaper. And in Manchester, Dimitris Papadimitriou, he's a senior lecturer in European politics and the director of the European Politics Research Unit at the University of Manchester. Uh, Ms. Pallone, let me start off with you. The ballistics report seems to indicate, certainly at this stage, and according to the policeman's lawyers, that the bullet ricocheted and killed the youth. Is that possible? According to eyewitnesses, this was not uh, an accidental incident, but a premeditated um, manslaughter, because there are many eyewitnesses that saw the police officer uh, pointing the gun his gun to the boy without any reason and shooting. And according to reports, the ballistic research is not really clear. So and I mean, if that's the case, excuse me interrupting, I mean, how do you think the opposition is going to deal with this news? This is not something they're going to let rest. No, it's not. But there are many voices saying that maybe there is an effort to conceal this. I don't really believe it since the government has no interest to conceal this right now, even to just to relax or detonate the, uh, the unrest. Uh, but according to eyewitnesses, I'm repeating, uh, the police officer without real provocations, just three young boys throwing a bottle at a police uh, car, which is very, I must say this for your viewers, it's very, it's not an unaccustomed event in this area of Athens, Exarchia. It's like a small ghetto. A small ghetto the same state wanted it to be a ghetto, to be able to control rebels, anarchists, rebel youth, and so on. It right in the heart of Athens. Uh, Ms. Velika, I mean, that's the problem here, isn't it? That one in five Greeks are 
unemployed, many ghettos have sprung up around Athens. I mean, what, what happened? How do we reconcile the Greece of 2004 hosting the Olympics to what's going on now? I think it's a it's a problem of uh, it's a worldwide problem of, of what's happening elsewhere. Uh, we uh, the youths are hearing what's happening, you know, in the UK, US, and uh, they're afraid of uh, unemployment that they're going are not going to find a job when they finish uh, school at university, um, and uh, they're afraid of uh, uh, that this is going to happen again. And uh, I think uh, what happened uh, now is an uh, um, their anger that uh, assimilated, you know, uh, through the years um, they saw, you know, that they couldn't find a job. And now that uh, the crisis is spreading, uh, everyone is afraid that uh, it's going, you know, to be felt hard. I mean, I see, and this is according to a wire that's just dropped, the Greek Prime Minister said that uh, he will support measures for businesses damaged in the five days of writing, but that's not going to be enough, isn't it? I mean, the problem here is that the government hasn't been able to enforce social and economic reforms. I don't think it's a question of government. I think it's, um, it's a question of the environment, you know. Um, of course, uh, the government didn't react uh, as tough as it should have uh, done, but um, I think it's a question of, uh, uh, of unemployment, of economic crisis. Uh, the uh, the anti-government protests um, is a... Um, is a disappointment, you know, of a society that uh, feels that has been left behind. Okay, Mr. Papa Dimitrio, what is your view from where you are? Is it the economic crisis that has fueled this? I mean, what are we looking at here? Is it rebellion? Is it anarchy? If you're an anarchist, is it the time to be in Greece right now? I think that uh, one needs to be very careful here, um, not necessarily to draw too many parallels with uh, what goes on today in Greece with what went on in, uh, uh, in France a few years back, or indeed with what uh, uh, went on in, uh, in Greece in 1974. Uh, the parallels need to be drawn in a very careful way. Uh, one needs to uh, uh, remember that uh, Greece today is not an authoritarian state. It is a democracy, albeit a democracy with uh, uh, many problems. And neither are the demonstrators, uh, the marginalized poor uh, of uh, uh, Parisian suburbs. Uh, there are major problems uh, in Greece at present on uh, uh, how the, um, the substantial uh, wealth that has been accumulated over the past 10-15 uh, years uh, uh, is going to be spread among the Greek uh, citizens. It is important to remember that uh, at least in paper, uh, uh, if one looks at the statistics, Greece today is not experiencing an economic crisis. The economy has been uh, 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 the second fastest growing economy in, in uh, uh, the European Union. The, uh, the overall economic climate is a negative one, but it is a negative uh, 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 climate because there is a lot of uh, uh, misgiving, there are a lot of problems with how uh, the wealth is being spread around. It's not necessarily the fact that uh, people are very poor, some of them of course uh, they are. Uh, the problem is that uh, um, marginalization and poverty coexist with uh, uh, substantial uh, uh, wealth at the same time. Well, it seems that the, the wealth is being spread around in a very few small circles. Uh, Ms. Poloni, apparently Greece is the most corrupt country in Western Europe and ranks 24th of the 27 EU countries. How is that allowed to happen? <laughs> This is a big discussion. Uh, at first, I will agree with uh, Mr. Papadimitriou that at, at this point, it seems like we have a two-speed society in Greece. We have extreme wealth and extreme poverty. We have a society divided. And this unrest now shows that there has been a, created a ghetto, a wide ghetto within the Greek society. This is the ghetto rebelling right now because I'm talking about an uprising. We are not talking about 100 or 200 people even the ones who are causing distractions. It seems like it's a wider group. And we're not talking only about marginalized people. We've seen students, even 12 years old students, for instance, throwing stones today to the police. So it's something wider, and it's something calling for greater discussion. And here, because you asked me about the uh, corruption, I think it's, it is the political system itself. After 74, after the restoration of democracy, 
between the two big parties that allowed this. So this, this unrest could prove to be symbolic, like this chapter of the political system is closing, and maybe this is the chance for, for something new. And also, I will disagree with my colleague from Athens here that the government has nothing to do with it, because the unrest came. The, the shooting of the 15-year-old boy in Exarchia was only the spark that initiated the fire. Because for three months now, the government has become very unpopular through uh, a series of corruption scandals, wh which had to deal with millions of euros changing hands between friends or members of the government. So as you can imagine, this caused greater frustration, and it, was this, it needed only a spark to, to come out. Do you agree with Veliga? Uh, I think that the government has a responsibility because um, what happened uh, um, um, went out of control. Uh, but uh, it should have been tougher in the beginning, uh, after the policeman shot uh, the teenager. But uh, I think um, this crisis uh, has begun from the past. It's not a question, you know, um, that happened just in four days. It's something that has been uh, assimilated from the past, an anger that existed, uh, the injustice um, in the system and the gap between uh, poor and rich people. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, the, what happened with the teenager just uh, triggered, uh, you know, everything. It just, uh, uh, everything went out of control. Uh, Mr. Papadimitriou, it seems, according to some sources, that the problem is bigger than just an internal issue in Greece. I mean, it has suggested that these riots were known to the police before they, uh, they broke out, and that, uh, according to the International Analyst Network, the culprits are Islamic networks in the Middle East. Their purpose is to destabilize Greece, since it's the weakest link of the Eurozone countries. What do you make of that? I uh, make very little of this. I don't think that uh, uh, the Islamic link has a anything to do with it. I think uh, uh, the truth is, uh, is simpler. And the truth is uncomfortable for the Greek state that has uh, for many years uh, peculiarly abdicated from its uh, responsibility to uphold the rule of law in all parts uh, of Greece. Uh, Exarchia, as uh, um, uh, your colleague from Athens suggested, has for many years uh, been a uh, non-go area for, uh, for the police, has been an area where uh, um, a number of uh, illegal activities have been taking place. The problem with what happened over the weekend is that uh, the Greek state, the police in that case, did not uh, sought to implement uh, uh, the law in an organized, predictable, and transparent, uh, and transparent way. What we have instead is the delegation, the privatization of the responsibility of the state to upheld the rule of law to an individual. An individual, in that case, uh, a rogue police officer, a triggered happy uh, police officer, deciding for himself to implement the law as he saw uh, fit. Uh, this, uh, uh, um, uh, of course, uh, uh, unpredictable and despicable behavior has been uh, uh, able to emerge simply because uh, the police has not uh, uh, aimed to implement uh, a predictable and organized operation in the area. Okay, let me, uh, let me the jump police. in there. So according to you, there's sure. nobody else to blame other than the Greeks. On that note, let's take a short break. But when we come back, we'll ask, what's the way out of the turmoil in Greece? Stay with Inside Story. <laughs> 